Hello guys, you're welcome to Trudy Home and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to model different world models, okay? In other words, how to model different world types using complex profile, okay? So let's dive into the video without wasting much of your time. So I'll be showing you the simplest method on how to do that, okay? So first thing to do is go to your options, okay? Click on options and then remember I said using complex profile, how to create those different world types using complex profile. So you come to your options, click on option, okay? Then you locate your complex profile here. You see an arrow pointing to this other side, pointing to profile manager. Click on profile manager, all right? So there's already a dashboard here. There's something here. And it's showing custom, it's showing edit, it's showing plus sign. So click on new, this box, okay? Click on this plus sign, all right? and then type in the name of that particular wall remember it's different type of walls we're modeling okay but first of all let me just say something real quick you need to understand what we are doing the pro uh, complex profile okay complex profile allows us to you know like some walls where you have a different color down okay like you can decide to have different materials on the downside and then maybe half paint on the upside with complex profile you'll be able to do that and maybe you decide to have groovings, you want to have groovings on the downside and then have paint on the upside or you want to have tiles on the upside and then have um, paint on the downside still on one wall, okay? is with the use of this complex profile that you can do that, okay? Here in Archicad. So I'll be showing the, you guys how to do that real quick, okay? Without wasting much of your time. So once you get here, type in the name of that wall so you don't forget when you go back to select the wall, okay? So let's say... For this wall, let's name it profile wall. Okay, for easy identification. Let's say profile wall. Okay, profile wall. That's the name of the wall. And um click OK. Okay, you can see things are displaying already. So under this time sign, this is where we'll do our drawing. You can see every other thing here is somehow deselected. Okay, it's deactivated. You can't select them except for this document and view. So click on that document. You see some couple of things you can select, okay? So this field tool, this is what we're using for, to do the drawings, okay? So click on this field tool. Click on the field tool. What we are doing now is the wall. We want to draw the wall. So click once. Now, the first thing to do is to type in the thickness of the wall, okay? Thickness of the wall. So for the thickness, let's go with 225, all right? And then the next thing now is the height of the wall. So after typing 2 to 5, the next thing to do is to click on tap once. You click on your tap once and then type in the height of the wall. Let's go with 3,300. Okay. Then press enter. Let me zoom out. You can see the height of the wall now. Look at the height here, 3,300. And for the thickness, you can see it's 2 to 5. Okay. Trust me, this is going to be interesting. And then for the material, okay, for the material, let's change it here. Let's just change the material from here. Let's select, um, okay, this fireproof. Let's select this one. And the next thing, let's let's start. This is a complete wall, okay? So the material we selected here was just the full material for the whole of this wall, okay? And then now let's reduce, um, let's add some materials to this same wall. So what we are doing now is the demarcation, okay? Is the demarcation. Like anything you feel like you want to do here, that's what you do. Anything you feel like, Okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want it to appear on the wall. So this is where you do it. So for this one, let's do some groovings. Okay, let's do some groovings on the face of the wall. Still under one wall. So click on this field. Click hit here. Um, the thickness, let's go with 25. Since it's just you know additional additional um, material. And for the height, let's go with um let's go with 400. So click on tap once. Type in 400, enter. So you can see that particular field here now. Okay. So let's chamfer this mount. Click on this first loop. Come under this chamfer. Under chamfer. Let's make it 10. Okay. You can see the chamfer here now. And for the downside, click the same thing. Let's still chamfer this side. Under the chamfer, let's make it 10. Type in 10. Okay. Now, for the material. Okay. For the material. Click on this one as it is like this, as it is like this. Click on override. Okay, click on override. Then you can now change the material to what you want. 
okay let's go with golden beige for this one and then now let's copy the same thing go up before then click on this drag all right pressing press your press your control press your control once okay so now you can take it to this side for a copy you can copy it to this other side make sure you tap on your control to activate the plus sign all right so you can see still on the same wall you can see we are we are modeling some designs on the face of that wall okay so this is what we have and um let's just add one that do here okay let's make this one the thickness first of all is the thickness let's make this one 50 by 100 so click on tap once and then type in 100 okay so you can see what we have now and then now let's chamfer this up one too click on this small note click on chamfer it's still under 10 leave it like this for the material of this one click on this one all right click on here make sure you highlight it like this and then override then let's change the material to glossy white okay after you're done anything you feel like doing you can just do it. let's add another one here so you see you can identify it later okay let's make it 50 tap your click on tap once press your tap once and then type in the height let's make the height 100 okay so look at what we have here now then look at what we have here now well let's bring this one down a little bit okay this one now is our cornice okay so now once you're done with the model you're done doing the design on the face of the wall okay then you click on save you can see save here okay and see save here click on save remember the name is profile wall okay so you click on save and then you close okay so if you check out 3d now we don't have anything now okay and um let's draw the wall first of all let's draw normal wall okay you click on wall normal wall and um this is the normal wall which is uh 225 okay let's draw the wall here so if you check now from our 3d this is the normal this is the normal wall okay and then let's draw the the, the modeled wall the one we created with the complex profile okay let's draw it, the wall here let me show you what we did so click on the same wall under your setting dialogs okay this last one you're seeing this is the complex profile wall this is where you select all the complex profile you've modeled okay so you click on this first one you can see custom under custom now you click on this custom remember the name the name was profile wall okay so this is the profile wall so the more you model different type of walls and their names this is where you find them okay so click on profile wall and click ok so let's go back to floor plan and then let's draw it here let's draw from up Okay, where you're seeing this other thickness is where the wall that is where those are designs are. Okay, so hold down your shift key and draw it down to activate the straight line. So this is the wall now. Let's check our 3D. This is our 3D, and then this is the wall. Okay, this is what we model. Okay, one um sweet thing about this type of wall is that. You can add window okay you can add window to this wall you can shift it let's go back to our, our floor plan and then add our window so from here you can add your window okay you can add your window here all right you can add your window i'm just adding any window just to show you guys what i'm saying so check see the window now we have a window here Okay. okay you can shift it to anywhere you want right to anywhere you want you can shift it to the window so it's one amazing thing about this type of wall so you see now still on the same wall we have different materials we have different materials here and different materials here and then if you feel like okay i just want to edit something i don't like this color here i want to change this one to maybe white or something click on this complex profile right click and then you can see edit selected composite 
click on it once all right so this is the wall now click on this particular one you can change it to whatsoever you want let's say airspace can we use this material uh, let's go with this one last that let's see how this one will come out okay then close you can see now we have another material we have another material here okay so if you like changing it again so click on the same thing right click edit okay this time around let's change this to something brighter let's click on this one and then override this particular color change it to glossy white let's see how this one will come out like glossy white apply okay apply and then close so this is the glossy white now all right so this is how to create your um complex profile okay this is one of the type type of model so you can change you can you can you can just play play around you know change the materials to anything you want okay you can decide to make this one tiles can decide to make this other side tiles so it is just depends on what you want okay and the most amazing thing about this type of work is that you can shift your window your door anything to anywhere you want okay like the door now i can decide to put our door here okay without you later adjusting this one adjusting this one adjusting this one so it's very amazing okay so thank you for your time if you find this video helpful okay if you find it helpful do well to subscribe and also like and um, comment and if you have any questions okay don't hesitate to ask on the comment section all right i'll attend to you guys thank you once again for your time see you on our next tutorial